All right, this is the day after Christmas. And the weather around here has been mild for this winter. So we're taking advantage of this beautiful day to get out here in the woods a little bit. Uh, we're gonna go down in here and uh, do a little cook here. And uh, it's what I call one of my skillets. And uh, I'll show you what I mean by that. But uh, we got a new uh, skillet to try out today. And uh, the wife got me a nice little skillet. Uh, I believe it's from uh, Jet Boil. I also, she also got me the uh, GSI Halolite 1.1 liter. So we're going to be trying that out as well. So stay tuned. All right, we're gonna do it right here. A little bit of a flat spot. Got the rocks to our back. And hopefully that'll block some of this wind off of us. Okay.
Okay, today we're going to be trying out the jet boil summit skillet. This is an 8 inch ceramic coated skillet. My wife got me this for Christmas, so uh, I've been wanting to get my hands on one of these and try it out. It's uh, it's very lightweight. I think this is going to be a good skillet to uh, put in my uh, tent camping pack. Uh, I told you, mentioned on some of my other videos here, I'm going to be making up two packs. And most of them are going to have identical gear in it. Other than one's going to be set up for hammock camping and the other for tent camping. But the tent camping one, I want to keep... Uh, the weight down as, as much as I can on that so that's why I wanted this skillet here it's it's lighter than my uh, other skillet that I've been using uh, the only one thing that it doesn't have is a lid and I've been kind of getting used to cooking with that having that lid but I will try this out today and, and uh, see how it works comes with a nice little cute little spatula here that snaps into the handle here so we'll get this going and and uh, see how she does okay here's the skillet here out of the package it has a foldable handle on it here and you do have to take the uh, spatula out in order to squeeze the handle here so There we go. Something I noticed when I opened the package up was it also comes with this nice little bag that you can put your skillet in. And also there's a little decal in there. We'll have to straighten that out so we can use it. Okay, today's coffee is going to be from the Atlas Coffee Club. Uh, my brother and his wife got me this nice subscription to this coffee club here and what it is is you get a package of coffee like this every month for six six months I believe and uh, it comes from uh, different region regions of the world uh, this coffee here comes from Ethiopia and with every uh, shipment, you get a, a a postcard here from where the coffee came from, and this came from Ethiopia, and that's a just like a postcard here, and it also comes with this uh, just some information on the tasting notes that it has, and this is from Ethiopia. And it's called Beta Jeanette, if I'm pronouncing that right. But this has uh, tasting notes of uh, gingerbread, blood orange, and milk chocolate. And this is a medium roast. And this just gives you some uh, information behind the coffee history of Ethiopia. It's very interesting, very interesting. Uh, a very nice gift I appreciate it very much and you can actually get on there on the website there and uh, once you get your first shipment of coffee and you can pick if you want whole bean or ground and you can also pick the type of roast that you want if you want uh, light roast medium roast dark roast or you can choose to get a variety so I chose to get the variety here so I like to try different flavors and everything so uh, yeah very nice gift and I thank uh, thank my brother and my sister-in-law very much for this gift here so we're gonna be trying that coffee out here today all right we also got the uh, GSI Halalite, I believe it's called. 
1.1 liter. My wife got me this for Christmas. And this one's going to be going in my tent camping packs because it's a lighter it's a lighter pot than my Stanley. But uh, this here can fit the big bigger gas can canister. This is the bigger size here. And my stand can fit in there. I can't fit my stove in there with the bigger canister. Even with the smaller canister, I can't fit my stove in there. So that's a little bit different than my Stanley. The Stanley, I can fit some small canister in there with my stove and also my fuel can stabilizer. But uh, we'll try it out here and see how this works out. This is the GSI Halulite Boiler, 1.1 liter. All right, today we're gonna have what I call one of my skillets here. Uh, a couple years ago, and me and the youngest boy went camping a lot. We'd always do what we call a skillet. And it was just uh, a variety of veggies, and we would uh, fry them up in a skillet, and usually have some type of meat in there with them, whether it's a can of canned chicken breast or turkey breast or uh, canned venison or anything like that and once this stuff's cooked up pretty decent then we uh, add a couple eggs in with it so that's what we're going to be having today we got uh, carrots and bell pepper and some onion and we're going to have some uh, Jimmy Dean sage sausage and then we'll add a couple eggs to that. Just a little bit of uh, olive oil there. Alright, this skillet is a little bit smaller than my other one, so I gotta get used to that. Alright, we'll let that cook up a little bit. Alright, we'll give that a little dash of salt and pepper here. This is a pink Himalayan salt. I like to use that. And I don't have much pepper left. I should have filled that up before I left the house. Yeah, that'll be good. Better be, because that's all we have. Alright, you'll never guess what I did. I 
I uh, was going to get two stoves on here to make some coffee and and of course I forgot to bring water. I had my uh, bottle for it but I forgot to fill it up before I left. So luckily I walked down in the woods here about a hundred yards or so and down in the bottom here and I found a nice spring. And actually I should be cooking down there because it don't seem like the wind's blowing as much down there. And uh, real nice spring down there and some pines and I'll keep that in mind next time I uh, go out here. But yeah we're gonna get uh, get our coffee going here. It's taking a while to get this skillet cooked up here the, having trouble with the fuel canister freezing up. It gets cold like that and it wants to slow down and not put out the heat. But, uh, we're going to fire up our other stove here and, and uh, get our coffee going here. Now that we have some water This uh, new uh, GSI Hallowed Light boiler, it will hold up to 32 ounces of water. So one of those big Nalgene bottles, you could put all that water in here. GSI Java drip here. Yeah, you gotta love all these little gadgets. Things that make cooking out in the woods a lot nicer. Do you need them? Nah, not really. It's just fun to have them, I guess. So, we'll, uh, try some of our, uh, Ethiopian coffee here. Like I said, we made this at home a couple times, and it's a very good, uh, very good roast. Very good flavor to it. Boy, I say this to you guys all the time. But I wish you could smell this stuff. Smell that cooking. This coffee, the smell of this coffee. Man. Man, oh man. Okay, it's starting to look pretty good. Taking a long while to get this cooked up here. I think mainly because of the, the canister freezing up. And uh, just not having as much BTU output. But we're getting there. Coffee's coming along slow too because that canister is just about empty. I do have a new one here for me. Alright, cooking up nice. We're going to get them eggs put in there. farm fresh eggs we have our own chickens there so we've got fresh eggs all the time this is a new knife here my son got me for Christmas this is the Gerber ultimate fixed blade uh, this is the exact same knife that they had some years back that was had the orange accents and it had the bare grills 
all over it, and the Bear grill signature and everything. Uh, he got that for me so I could do a review on that, and uh, we'll do that here eventually. But I see it has like a little machine flat on top for striking a ferro rod, so that's really nice. Uh, you'll be seeing that in an upcoming video. All right, we gotta get these eggs scrambled up here. This is what I call my skillet scramble. And it can vary from different things that you want to put in it. All right, we're gonna be eating good here in a couple minutes. Change that fuel canister out down there, so we're cooking pretty good there with that. All right, our water is boiling. I'm gonna get this coffee here on. Some Ethiopian coffee. I didn't even realize that uh, Ethiopia had coffee beans. Boy, that smell of that food and the smell of that coffee brewing just doesn't get any better than that. We've been having a mild winter here so far. Try to take advantage of every beautiful day that you have to get out. All right. I'll let that continue to brew. I think our skillet here is about done. looks good. This little cute little spatula is working out pretty well. All right. Look at that. Look at that. No problems with stuff sticking to the pan. That worked out very well. Jet boil. All right, there it is. That is a really good cup of coffee right there, I tell you. Very good. Now, on my other videos, I took the Stanley lid and uh, set it on top of here to keep my coffee hot. But this is the GSI Halu Light lid. And it's quite large, but it does have a, a piece here that sticks down a little farther, and that kind of fits in there pretty nice. So you can still kind of keep that lid on there and, and uh, keep your coffee hotter long. Okay. Looks pretty good. boy you can't go wrong with one of these I'm actually kind of shivering here I didn't wear enough clothing clothing on top so this hot meal really tastes good
hope everyone had a nice Christmas. And, uh, and uh, hopefully you have a good New Year too. good that's good stuff just want to take the time here to thank all my subs here I don't have many but I appreciate everyone watching my videos and just giving a comment or a thumbs up anything is a big help to grow in my channel do a lot of cook videos but that's kind of what I like to do go out in the woods and cook but we'll try to add some other things this year some reviews and and uh, get some more camping videos in but I just appreciate all the support and I thank you for watching this video. So if you're watching this video and you like this kind of stuff, get out there yourself and do some. It doesn't take a lot of equipment. Uh, you can get set up fairly inexpensive. And uh, you don't even have to go far from the road if you can't get out that far and uh, it just helps uh, helps keep you busy in the winter time or any other time of the year as far as that goes and it's a good place to come out and clear your mind all right thanks for watching the video for coming along We'll catch you on the next one. Catch you later. Okay, I'm a big stickler when it comes to finding old glass dumps, but I found it like a, it's not real big, but just an old glass dump here. It comes to old bottles and stuff. I lug a lot of them home, and I shouldn't, but stuff you can't find in glass anymore. I usually take it home, but we'll take a look. Looks like there was some unique stuff in here. Look at that there. That's a very unique the shape of that. Yeah, it says something on there. Not sure if that's wimps or no whips i think that means that w-h-i-p-e-s whips i think not sure what that was this looks like this might have been an old milk of magnesia bottle it's a shame a lot of this stuff's broken take a look over here with bottle has a little flat spot there this was probably some type of whiskey bottle I imagine this might have been a milk bottle of some type it has that milk bottle top on it shame a lot of this stuff's broken here's one that's probably going to go home with me France, France. Not sure what that was. It's 
some type of salad dressing, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, it says a federal law forbids a sale. So this is probably some type of alcohol or whiskey. All right. Seen these before. These were like a Clorox bleach. There was another brand. I forget the name of it. I don't know if this one's that old because I don't see a name on it anywhere. Very unique. It's not broken. A lot of this stuff's all busted up. something over here that was real unique. Like an old shine gun or something. Boy, that's a shame that thing's broke. Look at that. That would have been nice to have that intact. <laughs> 